Human Resources Season 1 Ending Explained Our first look at the world of the monsters from the Big Mouth universe. We got 5 hours with them and it was interesting. So let's jump into the show and explain all that happened. Here is Human Resources Season 1 Ending Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The show was centered around the world of the monsters that we've come to be introduced to over the years in Big Mouth. We had the likes of Maurice and Connie, the Lovebugs, the Shame Wizard, the Depression Kitty, the Anxiety Mosquito. We got some new introductions like the Addiction Angel and a personal favorite of mine which was the Logic Rock. For most of the show, it tended to branch each monster off onto their own arc with an occasional meeting throughout the 10 episodes, either at the office or when their paths collided on Earth with a client. I thought that structure worked quite well and when it would cut to the different stories, it would feel appropriate and like the natural time to move on. They even mentioned this in the final episode when the Addiction Angel was having some troubles, let's say. I thought that this show was initially going to be like how we watch shows like The Office, but it wasn't like that at all. We got to see them spend the majority of their time on Earth, which was much to my surprise. One thing that I did like in the show was how in Big Mouth we see the monsters with the humans at a certain point in their life, which is going through puberty. But this time we got to see them at different stages in life. We saw them amongst becoming a parent for the first time, getting engaged, and also around the time of death. I thought episode 9 where they focused on death was actually an extremely powerful episode, and that specific story was actually quite an emotional one. The way that it was visually executed with the memories being lost was so well done. We got the odd cameo in this show and I don't think it would be in the Big Mouth universe without Andrew popping up and making an appearance, and he most certainly did partway through the show. He had a little mini-arc. What I quite liked about Human Resources was that the emotions that the humans were going through, it was also felt by the monsters as well. This was present in their own individual narratives. And I think the symbolizing of the storm happening on Earth, but also in their world, highlighted the similarities and bridged the two universes together. I wouldn't necessarily say that the show was funnier than Big Mouth or on the same level in terms of making me laugh as what Big Mouth does, but it did make me chuckle throughout it when the odd comedic moments would arrive. There were a couple of revelations in the ending of the show, such as the reasoning behind why Sonya got fired. Everybody thought it was because she hooked up with the Grinch. However, it was a much deeper story about her falling in love with a human and their two worlds colliding, only for her to be ill and not be able to be together. It was a moment that brought some humanity to the monsters and I thought it was an enjoyable episode. We saw the friendship between Emmy and Rochelle come to a climaxing moment when the storm was wreaking havoc. This was all to do with the love triangle. But we saw them reconcile and realized that the addiction angel wasn't worth them losing a friendship over. We saw Gavin perish, which is something that I didn't think we'd see, as he does often pop up in Big Mouth. So I feel this could be Big Mouth's first killing off of a relatively main character. We also saw the Shame Wizard fabricating the story to make himself look like a hero. It was obvious throughout the show that he was the social reject, and this story is clearly going to go in his advantage slightly. Maybe we'll see the repercussions of his lie in Season 2. The Addiction Angel and the Logic Rock put their differences aside in the height of the episode with the Rock going on to save him, all for him now to not like him once they return to the office. I'm not a huge fan of the Addiction Angel and that cemented it even more. Maurice and Connie are now properly in love and more surprisingly, Maurice is pregnant with Connie's baby, which is something I didn't expect. And she doesn't want to keep it. However, Maurice is planning on keeping the baby and stepping away from his relationship with her which is a bold move because we know how much she does care about her. So it will be interesting to see if this is the case in Big Mouth Season 6. But I think the key thing to take away from Human Resources is the journey that Emmy went on throughout the show. At the start, she was incapable of doing her job as a love bug, and she was useless. But by the end, she had a ton of new clients coming down the chute for her to pick up, as she now knows what love is. She had to go on that journey to find it, and over the 10 episodes, she most certainly did. It was a good first arc for the main character to have. Overall, I think this show was quite good. I don't think it's at the levels of Big Mouth and I even feel Big Mouth is feeling a little bit fatigued now. It provided 5 hours of some interesting character introductions, arcs, and humorous moments, but I would have loved to have learned a lot more about the world that they lived in. We got glimpses with the conference, but I still didn't feel like we got enough. We know that a new season will likely be on the cards due to the fact that they reference a season 2 in the show. 
I think we'll likely pick up with the monsters and their humans in Season 2, which I'm okay with. But then it almost feels like it's replicating Big Mouth, but just not at school. I think another season will be a true test to if the show can hold itself with the commissioners at Netflix. What did you think of this show? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.